Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along for a while, we've been working on this uh, 2002 Scamp trailer. It is, uh, we've done a lot to the exterior, including this awning, the new roof hatch or the side hatch right there, and this new roof vents. We also buffed and uh, cleaned up the whole outside. Hey, Sky. Um, so if you want to check out any of those videos, they'll be linked in this corner. Um, but today we're talking about plumbing. So let's go ahead and go in and check it out. So in these 13 foot scamps, they put the fresh water tank underneath the passenger side of the rear dinette area. The main disadvantage with that is Water tanks get really heavy when you fill them with water. And since this is located behind the axle, that really increases your chance of uh, trailer sway, which is a scary thing on the highway. Basically what Scamp recommends is to leave this tank empty and then fill it up when you get to your destination. What that means is if you're uh, going to a campsite that doesn't have water already at it, then you've got to bring your own jerry cans or um, find another source uh, really close by. So when I got the scamp, uh, all the lines were really gross, um, had algae and gunk in it. Just didn't really trust the way everything looked. But the first thing I did was I had to deconstruct uh, everything. At first I didn't realize this, but it's really easy to just remove the back bench seat and you just take out some of these screws, at least in my model and it popped right out, it's really lightweight. Uh, there was still water in the tank, so my first move was to drain all the water out of the tank. So the tank had a little tap water type looking thing that you could twist to open up, and when I did that, nothing came out. So I went underneath the scamp and to where the drain hose was and saw that it looked like it was plugged cleaned it out and finally uh, just this nasty, nasty gross stuff came out. So I knew the same stuff was probably in the lines too. So what I ended up doing was disconnecting the hose from the faucet and taking an air compressor and blowing all the water through the system in reverse and back into the water tank. From there, basically all I had to do was uh, disconnect all the lines from the tank and remove the tank and remove all the lines. So my process for cleaning out the old tank, uh, first I just ran a bunch of water through it, plugged all the holes, shook it up a bunch. Then I filled the whole tank with a bunch of water and a little bit of uh, bleach and let it sit overnight. I ran several more tanks of water through it, gave it the old smell test, and I decided it was good to go. I thought it would be a good idea before I put the tank back into the scamp to repaint the wood underneath it, just to give it a little bit more protection for moisture. The old lines and fittings were 3 8 inch, I believe, but the new water pump I got uh, used half inch uh, internal diameter lines. Uh, from there, it's just a matter of screwing the bands back in and then attaching all the hose lines. What I like about this faucet is that it can swivel in pretty much any direction and then it only has the cold water thing on the side. When I removed the old faucet, there was a problem. The hole for the old faucet was maybe two inches across and the hole that this one needed was more like an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. So I went back to my rich light scraps and uh, made a new flange uh, first by making a big round piece with a hole saw and then taking that round piece and making the proper size hole for this faucet. Then I ran into another issue. Um, this faucet uses a thread on the bottom that is different than what we use here in the US. And I was about to go on a trip, so I ended up using temporarily a shower steel hose. Uh, after my trip, I had the new adapter piece so I could get a proper fitting. Oh, that's right, I'm out of water. 
Uh, so jerry cans are pretty convenient to have. Um, like I said, I don't want to drive around with the thing full of water for all the sway. Um, so this is the gravity fill uh, to fill up the water tank. Hi, Sky. And that brings us back to here. Another thing on trailer sway, I found that uh, I was able to mount my other jerry can to the tongue of the scamp um, to put just a little bit more weight up front. Uh, one final note. So the gray water empties out right here. Depending on where you're camping, it might not look good to have um, your dirty dishwater <laughs> coming out. I mean, you might not be comfortable leaving dirty dishwater in certain areas anyway. So I haven't come up with a like a gray water auxiliary tank yet. So I'm thinking of solutions, but if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Uh, that would be helpful. Anyway, I know that uh, plumbing is an incredibly boring topic. So thanks to those of you that stuck through to the end. You may have noticed there's a lot I've done to this camp already that I haven't made videos about. So be sure to subscribe. Um, those videos are coming. Uh, some of them are more exciting than others, for sure. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, sticking through to the end. Uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah.